Feral Pictures podcast, where we focus on the stories and not the headlines. Because we believe the stories can change the world. Get, Get ready, ready, because the, the show, show starts, starts now. now. Hey there, Sparrow Pictures crew. Welcome back to Coming Attractions. I'm your host, Joy Thayer. And I am Mr. Joy, and uh, we are here to talk about the season of Joy... Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Is Merry it Merry Christmas. Christmas or Merry Catmas? Uh, well, apparently my mug says Merry Catmas. Uh, but but the thing is, is that they've commercialized Christmas so much, and we're here to talk about the true meaning of Christmas, which you see right behind us. Yes. For those of you that haven't been paying attention, Christ is the first part of the word, and uh, we are here to talk about a new movie that is doing just that, pointing back to the true origins of Christmas, bringing back Christmas. And uh, another one of our friends, uh, Miss Lee Allen Baker, plays an angel, obviously. Uh, And so the film is coming out uh, November 17th. Uh, It's kind of got a fun It's a Wonderful Life, uh, Christmas Carol Scrooge kind of thing going for it. And another one of our friends, Ryan O'Quinn. Yeah, from Damascus Road Productions. From Damascus Road Productions that we've interviewed before. Uh, He actually has another role in the film. Uh, It's very fun. Very fun role plays Mary's dad, mm-hmm. and uh, and it's and it's hilarious. What I love is one of the social media posts on Facebook mm-hmm. talks about how um, you, the grandparents have argued over all times, and we've never thought about the right. Jesus's grandparents having any kind of discussion over his name, his birth, any of that kind of stuff. Anyway, let's bring Ryan on. How you doing, hey, man? Hey, I am good. Hey, brother, I'm good. Good to see you guys again. Good to see you too. Good to see you too. Yeah. So you guys have been busy. It has been a little busy. Yeah, we're ramping up for the holidays here, and it's been uh, it's been nonstop head down busyness. Yeah, and we figured you know everybody's past October, and we're getting ready to go into Thanksgiving. But if anybody's like my mother, everybody's getting ready for Christmas, and they yeah. kind of Thanksgiving is that dinner meal that you have after you know everybody starts school you got fall going on and then you go yeah, straight the hardcore to- people like halloween's over and now it's time for christmas decorations you know what I yeah mean? it's just and, and i feel like now i don't know about where you guys live but i feel like now more than ever maybe it's just the last couple of years people have jumped immediately from from halloween right into christmas like thanksgiving is fine but <laughs> for some reason i'm seeing a lot more trees and i you know went to Costco the other day and it's just yeah. Christmas has exploded all over Costco like the November 1st you know yep yeah yeah we went in the Lowe's yesterday and it's like their whole boom it's just like yeah. the whole seasonal section is just yep it's just uh it's just red crushed velvet and glitter it's just everywhere uh so <laughs> but uh but so we are here to talk about Christmas movies uh, and your because new your new Christmas movie is coming out and uh it's called bringing back Christmas and uh, you guys have been this. This was you guys made this a little while ago, uh, from what I re- recall. Yeah, we made it in the last summer, summer of twenty two, which which is an important uh, point. <laughs> we we shot outside of Dallas, and uh, <laughs> on several of those days, we were at the hundred and twelve, hundred and ten degree mark, and convincing our extras to you know wear the the you know, BC era (laughs) costumes. And, uh, we had, we had snow machines on a few of the days and, you know, you're, you're, you're coaching people to go pretend like it's cold, pretend you're really, really cold. Meanwhile, it's just triple digits and people are just, (laughs) you know, we, we half jokingly said, uh, you know, if if anybody passes out, uh, you don't have to come back tomorrow. That was kind of (laughs) our incentive. For people, but uh, we shot in the summer of 22. We held on to it, uh, although we probably could have if we had really rushed. Our our post team was really great, and it was was kind of almost ready for uh, Christmas of last year. But I think we made the wise decision to hold on, get everything right, get all the teams on board, and uh, and release this year. So yeah, we're excited. Awesome. And you guys worked with some of our friends over at Kappa on getting the post done. They've done some they great did. work over the years and so glad that, that uh, you guys have got to. They are great. Paul and Brad and those guys yeah. have done most of our pictures in the last several years. And they, um, 
you know, they, they were, uh, they took a leap of faith. They'll be the first to tell you that they sort of said no more than they said yes about four or five years ago and, and, and you know, took a step of faith and said, we only want to do God honoring projects was sort of their in-house mandate. And uh, the well dried up. I don't want to tell their story, but this is exactly how it went. The well kind of dried up and then a little project called The Chosen came along and mm. uh, they've been busy, more busier than they ever were before. So it's another testimony to uh, the Lord honoring, you know, when we, when we step out uh, That's and, and awesome. projects that honor him. So That's awesome. Yeah. So tell us about bringing back Christmas. Give us the, give us the elevator pitch. Yeah. yeah, bringing. I I love this project. Uh, I have to to shout out um, our co producers on the project and the and the great writers Trey and Ariel Fernald mounted this as a play, a live play, and they toured around to churches and various other places several years ago, and it got rave reviews as a play. Then they adapted that to a screenplay and and came to our company Damascus Road to consider. Um, uh, producing it as a full-length feature film. And so we fell in love with the project right away, went through the normal channels uh, of our, you know, our coverage team taking a look at it. And I knew we had to look closer when the subject of an email was, in all caps, by the way, from one of our uh, 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 people on our team who does coverage for us, meaning they take a look at the script and they review it and, and let us know if it should elevate to the next level. But the subject line of the email that came to to my wife, Heather, and I was, this will be Damascus Road's next film. And so <laughs> when you when you read something like that, you're like, well, I guess we should take a look. Uh, but in short, um, the story is um, about a, a guy named Daniel Reese, uh, aptly played by the incredibly talented Mark Christopher Lawrence, who is a down on his luck, middle management uh, guy. He's worked at this company for 17 years. He's uh, suddenly, tragically laid off by his boss, uh, played by Dean Cain. Super funny turn from Dean playing his boss, who who just, th- as Dean is wont to do, you know, through smiles can 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 deliver even the worst of news through that you know that cherubic face and that smile, and you you're, you're glad to get the news when Dean says it. But uh, but uh, Mark Christopher's character Daniel is laid off, and he's down on his luck and at risk of giving the whole thing away. He um, is encountered by an angel. And it's uh, it smacks of it's a wonderful life, of course. Trey and Ariel are the first to say that it's a it's a a genuine homage, tip of the hat to it's a wonderful life. So, uh, among other things, our angel, played by the incredible Lee Allen Baker, uh, invites him to go on a journey back in time. Uh, so, in an effort to show him that for at least two thousand years, people have had problems, and uh, she invites him to go back on a journey to take a look at the the first family when Mary and Joseph were about ready to have that baby. And we get a we get a, a you know kind of a, a, a wallflower view of how that interaction all went down, and just the the story of Mary's pregnant, and uh, it's not Joseph's baby, and the in laws, and the, the 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 comedic bickering amongst the in laws of who's going to get the baby at the first Passover, you know, and so all of those fun scenes. So it's a uh, it's one of those movies that I think has heart and humor, and it's hard mm-hmm. to find that balance uh, in one film. And it does a really great job. Uh, and in my opinion, you will laugh and you will cry in the same hour and a half period. And it's, it's great for the whole family. So yeah. uh, we're excited to bring it out on November 17th. Well, we have been privileged to work on some of the marketing assets. And Matt and our uh, post-production team have put together some of the trailers and social media clips. We want to share with you the brand new 30-second trailer that you haven't even seen. Uh, this so if you is have fresh any, to me. I'm excited. If, if you have any notes or changes, now's the time to speak up about Actually, it. Actually, no, it's already locked. So. <laughs> it's locked. Nothing you can do. Well, I, I'll tell you this. But based on what I've seen so far that you guys have done, it's a slam dunk, and I don't need to say anything. You've been amazing. So I'm excited awesome. to watch right along with viewers in real time. All right, All right. perfect. Well, let's roll it. I'm getting tired. Kick to the curb right before Christmas. The only one that can throw away your future is you. Whoa! I'm Cal, and I'm going to introduce you to people who have had some hard knocks, too. Your son, Joseph, is in love with our daughter, Mary. And the name the firstborn after me. <laughs> what? Sounds life-changing. I'm an angel. That's what we do. Everyone has a camel nowadays. When are we going to get one? I'm leaving it on the table. You can't leave it on the You sound like a sitcom. It's either that or you hear it in Hebrew. <laughs> That's great. It's very good job. 
<laughs> Thank you. Makes me want to see the movie. <laughs> yeah, right. Totally, totally. Well, I, when I uh, was basically uh, similar to you guys, uh, when I heard the concept of the film, uh, I was very intrigued by it, very excited about it. It's a great idea. And honestly, your performance in the film is my favorite part yeah. of the film. Uh, and uh, and uh, so so let the audience know who you play in the film. I play Mary's dad, which uh, which which sounds ridiculous just to say that out loud. But um, uh, as I mentioned, there's an interesting camaraderie between Mary's parents and Joseph's parents. So I play Mary's dad in the movie. And uh, as referenced in the trailer, uh, the, the premise is that they're, you know, they're they're obviously you know speaking in Hebrew. But in order for Daniel, who is who's watching all of this, uh, to understand it, the, he's watching it as if he were watching a sitcom. So we took on this uh, you know this this very New York accent, and uh, you know think think Seinfeld's parents kind of thing was sort of the, the idea behind uh, that character. So he's, he's a doting father. And of course, no one is, is good enough for his daughter and he's going to stand up for his daughter in every way. And, you know, this, this ridiculous Joseph, you know, is, is not deserving of my, my princess Mary. And so comedy ensues. Yeah. Well, I mean, genuinely, honestly, when I, uh, uh, we, I think we were at, I think we were content, I think. Uh, and I saw, that scene up on the on the screen um i mean well, we've talked together before i've seen your face i didn't know that was you yeah so well done that really is a, well done. that is a huge compliment and i will i will go one step further no testament to my acting but certainly from the writing and, and the story and the character point of view but our editor the incredible bill evil who was our editor had you know, through through pre pro and and development, I'd been with him for four weeks, and it was about week two of editing, and he was he was editing, in, you know, kind of in real time in the DIT room afterwards, and it, somehow, some way, it dawned upon him about two weeks into the editing process. So keep in mind, we're six weeks into this that that was me, and so I thought that was the ultimate, <laughs> either the ultimate compliment or or perhaps you know I don't know maybe Bill was uh, you know not sleeping at night, something went wrong there, but I, I appreciate that compliment. Thank you. That, no, and that no, was the goal, sure. by the way, was to be invisible behind this this great character. Well, I mean, I, that's the goal for any actor, right? I mean, and you really pulled it off. So, well, well, well done. Yeah. Thank you. And and, yeah. and uh, compliment to the wigs and the uh, and the beard and the makeup. <laughs> for sure. Yeah, it was at content because it was filmed at Capernaum Studios, just where The right. Chosen was filmed at. And um, we've happened to be there several times and have got to see the locations. But you won uh, Best Supporting Actor, correct, at Content Film right. Festival. And we got to be there and I'm texting you and texting some other people and just watching you guys win award after award. And I'm just like, this is awesome. And then we get a screener and we get to watch it. And it, yeah, like Matt said, you had some genuinely... I even know that was you I was funny like, wow, moments is, that's crazy so and and you've got uh, such a, a wide range you've been acting for a really long time and have taken on some dramatic roles and everything but the fun part is that you are taking a heartwarming serious story but then you've added all of this fun uh fun acting and everything into it and so it makes it land a little bit better for people so uh, yeah what did you do to get into character for this particular part? Well, I've always, first of all, again, credit to, um, to the writers. Uh, we talked about the character. We, um, because we produced it as well, along with Trey and Ariel from all the writers, we, we got to spend a, you know, more time than normally would be allowed or, you know, available, uh, both as an actor and as a producer. So as we dived into the whole story, uh, and then they made the decision early on to, to cast me in this role. So I got to have a, a lot of time spent with them talking about character, talking about the direction and and our idea to to make it a, um, you know, a battling, uh, uh, you know, New York uh, Jewish families at odds with each other sort of informed the other characters. You know, Suzanne Neff played my wife. Um I love working with Suzanne. First of all, it's, it's kind of weird that she played my sister in, in the last fil film I did called Paul's Promise. And then she turned around and <laughs> played my wife, which seems odd. But uh, she played Mary's mother in this. Uh, and, and then and then Joseph's parents were just amazing. So we we got the chance to work with them a little bit in the audition process and had them 
bring these characters to life. So on the day and it, the days of our shooting, uh, when we were at Capernaum in, in, outside of Dallas, Fort Worth, all four of us, by the way, it was, it was so annoying. I'm positive to everybody that was in our periphery, but all four of us did not come out of character. We were very much like this. We were talking like this the whole time, all the way through meals, through craft services. Everybody was looking at us and we were very much like this the whole time. So it was just kind of nonsensical, but we never stopped using that accent the whole time we shot it. That's awesome. awesome. Total Daniel Day Lewis kind of method. Just very much so. Yeah, I, exactly. <laughs> I, I dived in Daniel Day style. He had people roll him around in a wheelbarrow, you know, as Christy Brown, and I and I just stayed in this this, this crazy character. <laughs> well, we've got uh, another uh, clip, real quick. We're going to roll one of these uh, social media clips that people will see uh, being shared around right now to kind of show another part of the film here. This is 15 seconds of Ryan. You can get there in half the time if you cut through Samaria. No respectable person will cut through Samaria. Everybody knows that. A smart person on a donkey with a pregnant wife who wants to get to Bethlehem and back in order to have our grandchild at home, they would. The mountains are your best bet. Straight up, straight over. Boom. We're not going to go into Samaria. We're going to skirt through the edge of the hills. Skirting. Yes, yeah, skirt. so skirting. skirting through the edge of the hills. That Here, he's skirting. Oh, that's fun. That is fun. Uh, Barry Pias uh, Piacente, uh, who played Joseph's dad. I mean, so fun. I mean, a little bit of little bit of improv there. Uh, I don't know, <laughs> Joy, you might remember from from combing through the footage, but there's one part in that same scene you just showed where the donkey mouths off at one point, you know, and he's, he makes a donkey noise. And I I just followed up with, see, even even, even he understands what I'm talking about. And so <laughs> Trying to get, you know, Lisa Arnold uh, cracked up on set and ruining takes. Lisa was Lisa was our incredible director. But uh, my favorite thing was hearing her laugh off set. So I'm pretty sure they had uh, they had a hard time, you know, combing out her 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 cackle uh, in between takes sometimes. But that was my goal, just so you know. Nice. <laughs> I'm sure you accomplished it very well because, yeah, that, those would be some of the ones that we've just going through there picking out stuff. You're just like, yeah. you'll, you'll hear any of us just laughing on yeah. the side. Yeah. It's been fun. So, so what was your favorite part? Oh, man. Uh, so, so much of it. Because I was a producer from, you know, from inception to delivery, I was involved in the whole process. So, uh, gosh, any, any number of things I could pick. Probably the the most fun part, certainly from an actor's point of view, was the camaraderie with my my co stars in the scene. We did a scene um, at the table. There's a there's a piece of it in that first trailer that you showed, but we did a scene at the table, which is basically the, the negotiation. You know, the dowry between uh, Joseph's parents and Mary's parents, and kind of what that's going to look like. And then we venture into who's, like I said, you know, for for at least two thousand years. Uh, grandparents have been dealing with the same issue, right? Who's going to get, the, who, who are they going to visit at the holiday time? And so in this case, you know, they're, they're arguing about Rosh Hashanah and the Passover and who's going to get the baby and where are the family going to go? We want the, we want the grandchild first. And so that, that fun interaction between all of us with the, you know, we would get one that's on the page and then they would allow us to play with improv. And uh, I think the final result is, is an amalgam of both, but that was so fun to try to avoid cracking up ourselves uh, while we were doing that scene. Yeah. <laughs> You'll see that we've got our nativity scene yep. in the back. You know, yep. usually we have our Sparrow Pictures that. logo and everything. But the film is called Bringing Back Christmas. And the the whole gist of it is bringing back the story of Christ. And so I think one of the things we're asking people to do is show us your nativity. And one of our friends, our mutual friends, Nick, we said, you know, yes. What about the people that have like the ugliest nativity scene that's been passed down from generation to generation and you get it out every year because it was great grandmas yep. and you're just like, where did this come from? <laughs> and and all that kind of stuff. But what do you really hope that people take away from the film? Because it is it is the fun and all that kind of stuff. And we're, we are bringing Christ back to Christmas. But what do you want to see people walk away with? Yeah, th thanks for that. And and despite the the humor and the fun in the film, which is inherent even in what you've showed already the um the real takeaway is in the title of the movie and you hit the nail on the head bringing back christmas so um despite the um the commercialism of christmas and and all of that we really uh and even through the story of the film itself we even show that at the end of the day christ is um you know is the root word in christmas and so that even through hard times our, our um, lead character discovers that even in the midst of all that, when you turn back to Christ, 
um, he lightens that load. And so the, the real takeaway at the end of all this is, you know, t- turn your life over and and uh, help ease that burden because Christ is and has been there the whole time. And for many of us, it takes a tap on the shoulder or in, in some cases, uh, you know, uh, either a, a, a literal or figurative angel uh, reminding us what Christmas is all about. So that's the goal of the whole film is to, is to bring back Christmas and remind us of exactly that. Yeah. So, uh, so the movie is coming out uh, in on streaming services on November seventeenth. Uh, so, right. where can people find it? Yes, people can find it on a number of places, including Amazon Prime Video uh, on Apple. In fact, you can pre-order right now on Apple. Some of the other streamers may already be up as well, but you can pre-order uh, the purchase on Apple TV. Uh, it's on Vudu, Fandango, on Peacock on a bunch of other in-demand and, and cable services. There's also a limited theatrical release, I think. So check check listings in, in some places, depending on where you live, that it might be out in, uh, in theaters. But uh, it'll be accessible to everybody uh, by way of one of those streaming platforms on November 17th. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Uh, and for those of you that want to follow along and see what updates there are, you can go to bringingbackchristmasmovie.com, bringingbackchristmasmovie.com. And then we have social media out there, you know, for all those that want to know what's going on. And, and I think every social media platform is covered, uh, everything from TikTok to Truth Social. And uh, you got Instagram, you've got everything in between Facebook, all that kind of stuff. Some great stuff is going to be coming out yeah. on on all of those platforms that you'll so just- see. Any of your any of your uh, social media platforms, just type in "bringing back Christmas" and you'll find them right there. Yeah, and and then there's going to be some special premiere events that are going to be taking place. So I highly encourage anybody to go to bringbackchristmasmovie.com and signing up for the email updates. I think one of the awesome things is you know the price of a movie ticket and taking the family out to the theater. Having this go straight into the homes for those that are dealing with inflation and all that kind of stuff is really important right now because they can watch it and they can get their whole family together, um, pop some popcorn, have some hot chocolate, and have that quality time that's very much needed for this holiday season as well. Exactly. Yeah. And I have to give credit to our executive producers. And Joy, you've been in on some of those conversations, but really um, hats off to them for for thinking of exactly that, you know, with, with, with the prices and inflation and all the things that we're all collectively dealing with right now. One of the ideas was to uh, to offer a Christmas gift to families and be able mm-hmm. to bring this out on streaming for a relatively uh, low price uh, and make it accessible to, to everybody at the same time. But I appreciate yeah. their their thought in that. Awesome, awesome. Well, thank you for uh, for jumping on with us. And uh, I know you got a busy day ahead yeah. of you and everything, but uh, we really wanted to get this out to our audience. And uh, so, be on the lookout. Go to bringingbackchristmasmovie dot com. Follow on social media and uh, look forward to watching it on November seventeenth. Thank you so much, and and I appreciate you guys. Thanks so much for having me on again. I appreciate your support. Thank you. Thanks, Ryan. See you later. God bless.